Okay everyone, welcome back to the channel for another video on Gran Turismo 7. I'm back with a track guide at Spa in Group 3 on racing hard tyres with BOP on with default setups obviously with BOP on. So this is the current daily race B, it'll probably be used many many times in the future for other races. So it's time really to get a track guide done for this track in Group 3 to try and help you out and get you as fast as you can around Spa. Now this is a very popular combination. I'm sure a lot of people are going to want to find out how to go a little bit faster around Spa. One of my favourite tracks really in Group 3. I really enjoy this track. It didn't take me long to get a pretty solid lap in. I think this lap that we're going to show you now is a 2 minutes 16.4. I'm pretty sure I could get this Subaru into the 15.9s, 16 flat area. There was a couple of little errors on the lap. But overall, pretty happy with the lap. Didn't take too long to get. And yeah, let's get on with this track guide. So starting your lap, obviously, first thing first is through the chicane. Just try and give yourself a nice solid exit from here to start your lap and give yourself as much speed over the start finishing line as possible. You're going to be looking for the 100 ball for your first braking reference. So looking to the left hand side, you can see the 100 board on the left hand side there. You're going to break almost dead on that, but maybe a fraction past it. So as we approach it, you can see here just fractionally past that 100 board. We're on the brakes. And now we're going to be downshifting through the gears in a straight line and looking to take kind of a, a very squared off line to really get the exit speed for this corner. So we're going to go down to first gear in the Subaru and then back up to third gear on the apex and then on the throttle, pretty aggressive. You can see there to carry the momentum out of the corner. Pretty similar how I did that at Red Bull Ring and how we saw Killian do it at Red Bull Ring. I don't know if Killian's doing it on this track. I haven't watched the replay for Killian's. I just decided to do this myself because I like this combo. So I tried to figure it out myself. So flat out all the way through here, you do not need to lift. This is all about just going as straight and just putting as little inputs in the steering wheel as possible. So over the curb, hold the curb on the right hand side. And then again, at the top of the hill, you're going to go almost straight over the curb, right in the middle of the car and keep it as straight as possible again to carry as much speed over the top of the hill. Now through here, again, little inputs here. Just keep the wheel nice and smooth as you turn the wheel into a straight line. And then we're going to be looking for our next braking reference, which again, I use the 50, I think it's a 100 board on the left hand side and also the start of the curb. So you've got the 100 board there and then you've got the start of the curb that you can always use as well because you're braking just in between them. You can see just on the brakes in between the start of the curb and that 100 board. And now we're going to be slowing the car down into third gear and trying to carry as much speed through this right hand into the left hand corner as possible. So you're going to see as we come through here, you can really attack the curb on the right hand side. You can get the right hand tire up onto the curb and then let the car rotate into this left hand corner and try and get the left hand tire to stay as close to that curb on the left as possible because you're going to be rotating the car through here. So you see on the throttle briefly, get the car rotated and then you're really going to try and widen the line in. So you're going to rotate the car to the left, then back to the right. And as we do this, we're going to go up into fourth gear. A little lift off the throttle, then back onto the throttle and try and carry as much speed through this right-hand corner as possible. Now working our way down into this very, very tight head. And this is an off-camber corner. So you really have to be careful on the throttle for here. So as we see the start of the curb, we're going to get on the brakes there using the start of the curb as a reference and take a tight as line as possible for here. So you can see, I like to take a very narrow line for this corner because of the camber on the corner. So down through the gear, staying in third gear here until we've slowed the car down and then a little downshift to second gear just for rotation on the corner. And then early upshift back up to third gear to try and get that traction out of the exit. And then into this, again, quite a tricky corner this. You're gonna get the car over to the right hand side and then swing it in into the left fast left hand corner and you can do this in fourth gear so but up to fourth gear before you swing the car in as well so you see there little dab of brakes just before we're getting close to the curb on the right hand side and that will help rotate the car into this left hand corner and then on the throttle as early as you can use some of the curb on the right try not to get onto the green astro the green astro will slow you down a little bit if you go over there now we're going into the really fast long left hand corner that carries on for ages using the 50 board as a brake reference braking just past that 50 board down into fourth gear and again trying to take kind of a narrow line through it getting close to the curb on the apex and then on the throttle as aggressively as you can without understeering wide of this corner so again you can see carrying as much speed as we can all the way to maximum throttle and then use the curb on the right hand side if you do need to although you should, if you do the line properly you shouldn't really need to go out there next braking reference using the spa board above our head pretty much dead underneath that or you can use the 50 board and the start of the curb making sure you're braking just short of that and then into this right hand corner again i like to take kind of a narrow line going down to third gear for rotation again helps rotate the car into the corner try and get your right hand tire as close to the curb as possible a little bit of throttle through here 
and then again a little bit of brake to try and rotate the car into this left hand corner that will help with the weight distribution onto the front and again on that throttle quite aggressively be careful you don't go too early on the throttle because you can run out wide here and lose a lot of time now into the next right hand corner we're breaking just before the curb on the left hand side you can see braking inputs going in there make sure you break earlier rather than later for this corner because you don't want to run outside onto the curb on the exit so you can see onto the brakes letting the trail braking going in and trying to get the car as close to this curb on the right hand side you see on the throttle very aggressively and this is why you don't want to brake late because you don't want to run out onto that green astro on the left hand side there you want to use the curb but not the green astro now we're going to be chucking the car in here we're not going to brake for this corner it's just a little lift off the throttle you keep your eye on the throttle there a little lift off the throttle and again as we're getting back onto that throttle you see i give a little lift off there because i was getting a bit worried we we're going to run wide and actually we got very close to running wide but maybe we could have kept that throttle down and gained half a tenth on this straight there was a possibility there and then we're going to go completely flat out through here you do not need to lift on this left hand corner it's all about going flat just keeping the car as close to the left hand curb as possible but just be smooth with your inputs as well try to scrub as little speed off the car as possible then into the final braking reference we're going to break just past the 150 board there starting to break just as we go past it a little bit past it there and then down through the gears into second gear and you really want to try and get the car onto this curb on the right side. You can see the line we're taking there. We're going to attack the first part of the curb and that will help rotate the car into the second part. So you can see onto the curb, a little bit of throttle goes in and then you're going to try and rotate the car into the second part. So you're going to see I possibly go down to first gear here, a little downshift to first gear to rotate the car, then back up to second gear onto that throttle pretty aggressive and then all the way to the finishing line for a pretty solid lap a 2 minute 16.4 i think it is pretty much a four dead 401 so not a bad lap at all i think it's in the top 20 in the world so pretty happy with that for a very short amount of time spent on the time trial and hopefully this guide will help you out let's run through the lap from the chase camera at full speed again so you can see some of the lines that we're talking about again through here you see that downshift to first and then up to third gear gives a lot of traction on the exit i'm not you can still do that in second gear i did try it a few times the difference isn't massive it just felt a little bit more consistent for me doing it from first to third gear um in terms of reliability of getting a good exit through here you can see about using your know, straight over the top of the hill there take a straight line as possible to reduce the amount of speed that you're you know you're losing down this straight and then again into this braking zone you're going to see how we really attack the curb on the first part on the entry you can actually be quite aggressive as well you can actually hit the bollards and it won't lose you too much time on this corner so you can actually be quite aggressive there and then on the left hand curb and again swinging it in early up shift to four you see how we go into fourth gear before we're swinging that car in that keeps it nice and stable and enables you to carry good speed all the way into this very tight braking zone and this is you can see the off camber on this corner how we use gear to rotate us up shift to third gear and then get that traction and then all the way into this left hand corner this is really important to carry the speed through this left hand corner you see try not to go on that green aster if you go on the green aster you lose time and then again this long sweeping left hand corner breaking just past the 50 board down to fourth gear getting it into the apex on the throttle as early as we can i might have turned in a little bit too early on that corner with that little bit of hit on the curb maybe lost half a tenth to a tenth then we're going to break just before that 50 board again on the left there using the gear again downshift to third to rotate the car and then just be cautious you don't go too aggressive on the throttle that you run out wide here and go into the gravel or spin it or anything like that now into these really two right hand corners this second part is the most important one this is all about getting that exit speed so being aggressive on the throttle being careful you don't run too far wide you see my left hand tire was so close to running onto the green astro then and that lap would have been over so just be cautious on that part there that's really important to get the exit speed because you're then carrying the speed all the way through here because you're not lifting at all on this corner um, but yeah if you can easily make a mistake on that corner then into the final section you see using the 150 board breaking just past that and again you see how we use the curb onto the curb downshift the first gear for rotation back up to second gear and then accelerate your way all the way over the line so yeah hopefully this will help you out if it does make sure you let me know in the comment section hit the like button subscribe to the channel it all helps me out and yeah i do like reading the comments that you know it's managed to improve you or give, give you a win at a combination that's great to read so thank you everyone for watching the video i'll see you all soon for more streams and videos